Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking Orni or Yam Pudding. So let's start cooking. First we'll steam the taro or yam. Alright, we'll steam this for approximately 20 to 25 minutes or until soft. In the meantime, we will prepare the ginkgo nuts. I have with me 200 milliliters of water in this pot over here. I'm going to add in three tablespoons of brown sugar. And I'm adding in also ginkgo nuts. This is canned ginkgo nuts, which is so much easier to prepare. I just need the sweetness to be part of this ginkgo nut. Hence, I'm boiling them again. Just pour everything in. After draining off the water, this is approximately 200 grams. You just let this cook for approximately 20 minutes or so. The ginkgo nuts are done already. So now we'll just turn off the heat and remove them from fire and then just put them aside. Now we'll heat up the coconut milk and add a little bit of salt to it. I have with me over here 250 milliliter of uh, coconut milk. Just on at the lowest flame possible. Don't overheat it. If you boil too vigorously, you will have a layer of coconut oil on top, which is not nice. I'm just going to add in one third of a teaspoon of salt. We don't have to boil this for long. We just need to get this to come to a gentle boil and then we will turn off the heat. When you see bubbles forming by the side, you can turn off the heat and we will just leave this aside. The yam has been steaming for quite some time already, about 20-25 minutes and they are soft enough to be mashed. So we'll just remove this from here. We'll now steam 150 grams of pumpkin, which will be puree separately. I'm now going to mash up the taro or yam using my magic mix processor. Now into the food processor, I'll add in 50 grams of brown sugar. If you do not have brown sugar, you can use normal ordinary cane sugar or custard sugar, it's really up to you. I'll put in the attachment to puree the yam now. If you do not have a food processor at home, do not worry. You can always use a fork or a potato masher to physically just mash them up. So just put everything in and look how well it's being pureed. Now remember when you want to puree or mash up the yam or any kind of roots, it has to be hot so that it can be pureed very finely. So once this is done, we'll turn off Using the spatula that's been provided, I'll just scrape all this off to let it go to waste. This is a very versatile machine, this Magic Mix Food Processor. I've been using this to do my sambas, mashed potatoes, you can even make meatballs, fish balls out of this also. So we just mix this up a little bit and then we are just going to fry this now. The pumpkin is done also. We will now turn off the heat and also puree this now. We will now puree the pumpkin. So once this is done, we will remove and set this aside. Now we are going to fry the taro. What you need to do is just heat up a pan, add in approximately one or two tablespoons of oil. Now traditionally, they use lard to do it, but we want it to be healthier. That's why we are using just normal cooking oil, or you can use vegetable oil, no problem. We now put the yam in. We just need to sort of mix them together until they become a very beautiful smooth dough. Remember that just now we did add in some of this uh, brown sugar, right? We need to mix them all in evenly into this yam that we are having over here. Turn the heat to low for this. We don't want to have a crispy dough. We just want it to have a very smooth and soft kind of dough. Right, as you can see, the shape has changed or the texture has changed quite a fair bit. This is what we want to achieve. Now, certain recipe call for this to be cooked together with the coconut milk, but I prefer to do it when I want to eat I would just like to add coconut milk on my own because some of my family members like the taro to be a little bit thicker and not so watery. So I'm just doing this, cooking it this way. 
right we are almost there you can see it's a very very smooth kind of dough right now keep folding it in the best thing about doing this ourselves is that we can control the amount of sugar that we put in if you like it less sweet you can reduce the sugar if you like it sweeter you can put in more sugar okay now that the sugar is all mixed well into the dough we will actually remove this from heat and i'll show you how we assemble this dish The onion has been done, so let's just give this a taste. I like to mix them up a little bit, get the coconut cream in, get the pumpkin in, and every mouthful will be very nice. Mm. The smoothness of the yam, the fragrance from the coconut cream, that's really nice. Mm. So I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.